Hey, welcome back to the Sunday Serving Channel, where you come every week for words of hope and truth from the gospel. Maybe I should say fruits today. Checking out the, the raspberries. They're in good form here, late summer, early fall. Really sweet. So, we've been uh, talking about the Sermon on the Mount. And I have a really good reading today. It might perplex us or stump us a little bit. It's difficult, but it's a good one. Where's Remy? Remy, you want the rest of these raspberries? Come here. Anyways, hope you're all doing well. Let's think about this. Matthew, the next section, is one about non-resistance, about turning the other cheek. And I know, I don't know about you, but many people are stuck by this, like, what did Jesus actually mean? Is this real? Can we, can we live like this? So Matthew chapter 5, verse 38, here's Jesus' instruction to us about non-resistance. He says, you have heard it said, eye for an eye and tooth for tooth. So that was, that was the law of Moses, right? And let's remember that law was given not to take vengeance on someone, but to limit it, really, to say, you know, be reasonable with your response to injustice. Don't, don't do more than was done to you. So, so Jesus quotes that law, eye for an eye and tooth for tooth. But he goes on here. He says, but I tell you, do not resist an evil person. That's a difficult statement. Do not resist an evil person. Let's, let's go on because I think it helps us to understand this, to hear what Jesus says. He says, if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. So if someone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand your coat as well. Hmm. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. That's, that's some challenging words. Um, again, so the old law was about limiting retribution, but Jesus goes so much further here, again, to the heart of the mat matter. What is he saying here? Is he really saying don't resist evil and just be passive? Actually, these words are probably the most active type of resistance against evil that you could imagine. It takes courage. It takes belief in Jesus and the power of love and forgiveness. Now, it's, it's not for cowards. Now, imagine if someone slaps you on the right cheek. The normal human reaction is two things, right? Fight or flight. Either you fight, you punch. Hey, you're going to do that. I'm going to hit you back, right? That's fighting. Jesus didn't give that advice. He didn't say hit back, be stronger. He also didn't say run away. So flight, you know, it's, it's not right to just run away from someone who's evil or doing wrong. Neither is right. Jesus says there's another way. It's stronger. Turn the other cheek. Say, hey, if you're going to be like that, fine. Here, hip, try this side. So it's taking the moral high ground. It's showing that stronger love. It doesn't matter what you do. I believe that God is stronger, that Jesus is stronger, that love is stronger, that forgiveness is stronger. That's what's going to change what's wrong in you. So that's, that's really a, an attitude of strength. It takes real faith and belief and strength of character to take Jesus' words seriously. I mean, how many of us actually do that? It's difficult. It takes faith. It takes love. We have to see what's good in someone else. We can see that enemy in them, and we want to hit back. Or we might want to avoid the fight and run away. But Jesus says, no. Show love. Look for the other man and say, hey, you want to be like that? That's your grounds. But Jesus' way is to love. Let's think about the other words, like not just turning the other cheek, but if someone wants to force you to do something, you could be a slave and just accept what they tell you, right? Or you can go the extra mile. You can walk two miles with them. You can give them your coat. All of a sudden, they're like, wow. Not, you know, it, it kind of takes the sting away of what they demanded of you. And, and you're saying, I'll go, I'll go above and beyond that. Again, you're taking the high ground. You're showing them that love is stronger, that Jesus' love in you is stronger than any 
evil or any, any strength they think ha they have in forcing you to do something. So these words of Jesus are, are for the brave of heart, for those with real faith. But we can follow them. We can believe them. It will change people. You'll be surprised. It will change people if we have this attitude of seeing love in others, seeing joy in others, going the extra mile, turning the other cheek, giving more than we're asked for. So I think these are very exciting and hopeful words. They will change the world in our personal lives, and maybe we can even use them broader than that by our attitudes of how we treat others and pulling out what's good in others. So such wonderful words from the gospel, from Jesus. Everything in there is amazing. Let's live it. Take courage. Turn the other cheek. See what happens. Try it out once. And uh, get back to me with your stories if, if it, it works in your life. I'd be interested to hear. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful week. Now, uh, dogs, I think, live by a different moral standard. I haven't seen Remy turn the other cheek too much. <laughs>